Hi there everyone, my name is Gabriel and this is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. Today we are concluding our series as we've looked at the entirety of the Bible in only 16 verses, the mountain peaks. And now we are looking at the conclusion and it's been such a beautiful story. We've tracked the thread where God Himself has gone to great lengths to bring us back to Himself. And today's story is the cherry on top. It's the bow that ties it all together. It's in Revelation chapter 21. And we all want to go home. There's, there's something in the human heart about going home. When I think about the, this passage, some songs come to mind. I think about the Lord of the Rings and the, the tune that plays as the hobbits return back to the Shire. As a West Virginian, a proud West Virginian, I think about country roads. When my family and I, when we return home, whenever we're going back home to visit family, whether it's Pops and Gigi or Nana, whomever, we always, when we're getting close to the state line, we'll turn on John Denver's Country Roads, and we'll start singing in Savannah. My little girl will say, play it again, Daddy, play it again, and we will sing and enjoy that song. We want to go home. Hey, God has done for us what we could not do for ourselves. We could not earn ourselves back to God. He is he is bringing home to us. And the good news is, when we read this, is there's no longer an already not yet. We live today in the already not yet, where Jesus is king. He sits on heaven's throne. He rules and reigns. And yet we still live in this life where we experience suffering. We deal with sin and Satan. And one day, unless he returns, we will die. But he talks about the day when all those things will be gone. And we'll just be left with God in, at home in the new heavens and the new earth. Revelation 21, 1 through 4. Let me read these beautiful, hope-giving words. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. Wow. Praise the Lord. What beautiful words. Just a couple things I want us to think about. This new home, this new heavens and the new earth is heaven because that's where God dwells. And that's the entire point of the Bible is, to, is God and His glory and that we would dwell with Him as His people. We lost it at the fall. Adam and Eve sinned in the garden and they are expelled out from the presence of God. But God on a mission to bring his people back to himself and to put away once and for all all the wickedness, the evil, and the things of just living in a fallen world. We see that here. So these, these words, they bring us hope, they bring us peace, and they fuel our faith. And notice it is God who does this work. It reminds me of the words of Jesus in John 14. It says, I'm going and I'm going to prepare a place for you. And here we see that place that Jesus has prepared. It's a new heavens, a new earth, in which righteousness dwells, Peter tells us. It's, it's the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy, which Cole McCollum had us looking at in Isaiah 65. And here, Jesus has prepared a place. And there's no death, there's no suffering, there's nothing that would cause mourning or crying. These things have passed away. And look how beautiful it is, like, like a bride adorned on her wedding day. Now, I remember seeing Rebecca for the very first time when we got married, and stunning, beautiful, and she's still beautiful to this day. Man, just to see your bride, and that's one of the things we like to do at weddings, to see the bride, and this place, the beauty of this place that God has prepared for us. And what makes it beautiful is, is because it's the place that God Himself dwells. And He will be with us. My favorite phrase in the Bible, God will be your God. You will be His people. This is true of you only in Jesus Christ. Because the way home, 
The way to this heaven, to dwell with him forever, is only through Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And I pray that you will look to Jesus in faith. In doing so, you can hold on to these promises. The promises that I'm making all things new. That I will dwell with you forevermore. And no more death, no more crying, no more tears. Blessings upon you today.